Hello, mis amores. So for today's video, we are going to be doing summer nails. And I know summer's almost over, but honestly, I feel like these are still super cute for any time, I guess, for any time. Super cute colors and the design is simple and easy. And just a little quick disclaimer, I am not a professional nail tech or anything like that. I just like to do my own nails at home because it, one, it's more convenient for me and two, it's just cheaper that way for me as well. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, as you guys can see, we're gonna go ahead and start doing the nail prep. And I like to measure my nails first. And once I find, make sure they fit side wall to side wall. And it's okay if it's a little bigger because as you can see, I'm filing down the size to where it's perfect because I feel like the one is a little too small for me, but the zero is a little too big for me. So now what I'm gonna do is file the inside of the nail and a little bit of the outside of the nail. So like it blends seamlessly after I glue it on. Obviously, cuticle remover as always, pushing the cuticles back. And then I normally don't go with like um like the tijeras of the cuticle. I don't know what it's really called. That thing. I don't normally go in with that, but since I normally don't go in with that, they were really bad and I had to use it. So that's what I'm doing here. And I don't like to use it because I feel like they're a little hard for me to use. It takes practice, I feel like, or else like te agarras la 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 piel. And it's just a no for me. Next, I'm just filing my nails and shaping them. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff them. I'm sanding them with, I don't know what grit number this is. But it's not like a soft one, but it's not a hard one either. Just so it's like the shininess gets off. I'm taking an alcohol pad and just removing I'm it. I'm taking the nail dehydrator and bond plain thin coat and then i'm gonna go ahead apply the gel nails starting off with this base coat and then i will cure it for 30 seconds i do a thin um a thin coat of the base coat you can either use the base coat or how many times am i saying base coat girl <laughs> or you can go ahead and use the nail glue that you'll see in a little bit cleaning up the edges because remember you do not want to leave that on your skin this is the nail glue that i'm talking about i apply a thin layer on the nails first and then i kind of like drag the rest of it to the tip of it and i put the glue down if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making any sense but yeah that's what i'm doing i like to cure five seconds and then i like clean the edges because sometimes you can get like a little gel nail glue spill out of it and then I go back in under the, the lamp for 10 more seconds before I cure all of them for 60 seconds. Filing off the excess nail glue that I could not get off and just making sure everything, there's nothing on the side of my nails and everything looks seamless and nice. And there's not a lot of filing I do here because after I do this, I obviously shape them with a, a hand nail file which doesn't take me long either because they're already shaped just making sure they look great and then I go ahead and buff the shine away so when we do the nail art it stays like it sticks onto it better if that makes sense because I have found if I don't buff it the nail art does not stick to the nail as well as it does as when I buff the shine away and don't forget to remove all the dust. Do three nails with color the color blue. So and then two nails on this side will have the design instead. Start off with the blue. This is the shade 60 from the beetle set I got, which I will link it down below. Please go easy on me, babe. 
Excuse the background noise, you guys, that you heard in the first few clips. That was my son playing it in the background. But I think this blue is so beautiful. It just... It is the best blue I have ever seen in my life. I'm going to go ahead and apply um, one coat of this B124. Um, I believe I got this at a nail supply store. I did not buy it from Amazon. Most of my nail stuff is from Amazon. And I will link the ones that I can on the description box below. Adding some black polka dots because the idea is that I want it to look like a little confetti in the background of like, the line work we're about to do. Be sure to use a thin brush and take your time, guys. Using a thin brush and take your time, you will do great. The rest is just watching because I don't know how to explain this. So. I think a top coat now. This is this is a no look, and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I want to recreate it, but I'm not. <laughs> or maybe I am. I don't know. I just love this blue so much. So maybe I'll find a different no design to go with this blue because I really, really like this blue. And don't forget, after you're done doing your nails, to apply some cuticle oil and some hand lotion, whatever you can, because you got to bring that moisture back after drying them out with all that alcohol. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I see you next time. Adios.